Hi guys, I've got about 10 minutes before it's shrimming time um, for little M, which basically means he's going in the bath and getting ready for bedtime. Um, so I just thought I'll do a very quick piece, a very quick run through on the mulberry bags I currently own. Um, not all of them are used regularly and that's kind of one of the reasons why I've taken them all out because I need to... I need to really decide which ones are going to be kept and which ones I'm going to move on and stuff. So um, I thought whilst I'm doing that, I'll just show you quickly. So I'm going to start with my Alexa. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep her because she is fully loaded up, as you can see. And she uh, was A, my first full price bought in a shop, Mulberry, so I would never sell her anyway. B, she's quite battered, so I probably wouldn't get a huge amount for it, even though, I mean, she's fully intact, but, you know, she's um, been through um, a few years of hanging around with me. Um, and see, I use her quite a lot, so she's a good size for me. Um, she gets filled up with all my typical stuff, the stuff you will have seen if you watched any of my handbag videos. Here yeah, you can see my... Um, quite chaotic handbag but thankfully to the Samorga it's reasonably organized actually um, so yeah so that's my black um, soft buffalo Alexa and um, probably my most used um, and probably my most loved one Shh, don't tell the others but it's true um, and now I'm just gonna pull them out of their just bag so where some of them I know straight away what they are with others I don't so it's gonna be quite random all right, okay, so this is my Roxette. I bought her last year in the sale, directly from Mulberry. You can see, uh, it is a small Roxette, so she comes with a long strap. Um, and I haven't really used her at all yet. She's still brand new. She still has um, plastic on various bits. Um, but because I bought her in the sale, and then I can't remember, I think I was, I just had gotten another one as well, which I then enjoyed using. And then it was suddenly spring, and it didn't really feel, I don't know, I didn't fancy using a black croc printed bag in spring and summer. But now that it's getting, or now that we are in winter, I really uh, want to dig her out, need to set her up, um, and start using her. And she's quite light, because it's microfiber, lined um, and nice and boxy which I like and should keep my things nice and organized for me so my black small rock set which I'll pop up there what's next so look there we go this is my oak medium sized um, Cara um, I was just gonna say why do I think that there are straps here there are so there should be there we go, there are the D-rings here. This is typically how I would carry a long strap or rather both straps put together, hooked on there. Um, I've used her quite a bit, so you can see little bits of wear, which is typical for oak, but actually the hardware still looks really good. So um, despite her looking pretty new, I think she's definitely a keeper because good size, bit bigger than the Alexa. You're pretty, you get pretty much the same amount of stuff in there, but then you've got space from here. So if you want to squeeze a book in the top or other bits and bobs you might buy and pick up during the day, really good. So my um, Mulberry Cara, regular size in Oak NVT. I can have some cheese. Some cheese? Yeah. Just a second, we have to stop for cheese. Right, cheese dispatched. Um, uh, where were we? Here we were. Cara, up there. Next. Now I know what this one is because it's very small. It's in the green bag, which means it's old. It's my mini Kelly. Um, not used her an awful lot, simply because she's so dinky. She's really just an evening bag um, or one of those. I, I'm so cool. I carry two handbags just for myself kind of things. Um, I do love her though because she comes with a long strap which I can just tuck in there. Um, she is big enough to work as a small evening bag um, and the reason why I would not move her on is because she's really really rare um, especially in the printed leather. You know what I'm like with printed leather. I just love it. So um, yeah I'm, I think I'm gonna keep her. She's so small she can sit on top there somewhere. <gasps> or maybe not. 
stay. Right. Um, what's next? Since we just did the mini Kelly, we shall do what I thought was the medium Kelly until I saw some new sizes recently. Um, but I think that's the size up from this one. I thought there was just one bigger size than this, but then I've seen another one which is even bigger than that. So there may, may well have been more than those sizes I was originally aware of. Um, again, quite rare. Um, I like her because she's so ladylike and looks like one of those proper grown-up handbags, um, which would be big enough if um, you only carried like a purse and maybe your phone and a pack of tissues and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I, I, again, I probably wouldn't move on because she's quite rare and I do love her. But oh, but. What's next? Ooh, oh. This is my Mulberry Base Water in NVT, in printed NVT oak. So in um, a, another sort of croc style leather um it still smells amazing sorry that's why i'm kind of kind of stuck um got stuck there because it, yeah it still smells really really nice and again sorry i just said to that one grown-up bag but this is my proper grown-up bag i have an interview away. um this is my proper grown-up bag um i have an interview or i need to look grown up or whatever i don't use her as often as i should because once you load her up she gets quite heavy i do get her on my shoulder but um yeah you, you know what i mean anyway so water. let's pop her there um what have we got next um there you go buffy sorry the cat is trying to claim you're not you're not coming up here no not near the bags no here we have my oh look it's another oak printed oak lily which again i think is so timeless classic um have used her a few times um love it because you can wear cross body just about um and yeah i mean come on what's not to love this is not going very well, is it, in terms of me trying to decide whether I'm going to move on anything. Oh, and this is... How could I ever even consider letting this one go? Probably the most famous one of all of mine. This is my Ledbury, which had been converted by me um, to sort of like a small base water satchel. Or, I guess, the, the new small base water, which also has hooks. Um... Yeah, love her. Um, and she's got a fair bit of wear, so I probably wouldn't get a huge amount um, and wouldn't want to move her on for a song, so she's gonna stay put. And then here, we've got something oh, rather heavy because not only is this an oak Roxanne, um, I went a bit nifty here with my storing what have we got inside because it fits exactly inside is my it's a bit Russian doll thing isn't it oh, oh, oh. put that in there very carefully but that meant that this one was plumped out nicely and this one had a nice home my ro um, what's she called what's she called rosemary thank you my rosemary and inside that one, I told you it's Russian dolls, I've got in a dust bag, because it just worked better, I got it in there better. Pop you over there. I've got my Blenheim. Oh yeah, I put the strap inside, that's why I couldn't find it there. Anyway, so there's my little Glennon. So I think all of these, or most of these, no all of these, I would have done a review. So if you're interested in seeing um, them individually, how much they hold and stuff, have a look. Oh, almost forgot this. This one I've got as well. I don't really use it as a bag. I usually use it um, when I just pop my laptop away um, and I don't have to carry it anywhere. So it just sits there basically. 
Um, but there we go, it's a little base water, or rather, it's a it's a base water laptop case. There you go. Um, that's it in terms of bags. I do have um, a Mulberry purse, and I've got um, a multi-zip pouch and a couple of other things. But yeah, that's basically it. What is my cat doing? It's gone slightly nuts over there. Anyway, um, before the cat comes anywhere near my bags, let me pack them away. Hope you found this interesting um, and I will work on that other thing that I've been meaning to do, I'll promise. Okay, bye.